I'm Parks Talley. I live in Alexandria, Virginia. And I got in beekeeping uh, about nine years ago. Um, I used to um, race motorcycles and I gave up motorcycle racing and took up beekeeping. And my first year I lost all four hives. Then I met up with a guy by the name of Billy Davis who'd been keeping bees for close to 60 years. I worked one day a week with him uh, for three years. And I mean one day, 52 weeks a year. Um, and he taught me how to keep bees. I got into hive monitoring um, primarily out of a particular need that I have that is different from most beekeepers. Uh, I'm a tax CPA and uh, every year uh, my swarm season here in Virginia starts the last week of March and normally runs till the first two weeks of April. It varies year by year but that's basically uh, the standard time frame for swarms to take place. That's also the peak season in my tax season and I have no time to spend working on bees. So I've done uh, a lot of research looking for ways to manage bees remotely and the high scales give me one option and the other option that I use is thermal cameras. I can tell a lot about what's going on in a hive with a thermal camera when coupled with the information that I get from the hive scales. So it's been uh, it's, it's allowed me to, uh, except for this past year, which was a terribly unique year, uh, I basically have escaped having swarms every spring. In trying to decide which scale to buy, I looked at a lot of different options. My first scales I bought from Solution B was the HM20, and that was back in 2016. Um, it was the only hive that I saw that looked like it was constructed well enough to hold a hive with um, 100 or more pounds of honey on it. Uh, the others were, I'm sure they worked fine, but uh, I, I like things that are over-engineered and heavy duty, and Solution B seemed to meet that. Um, and so that was kind of how I arrived at it. As far as the different versions of the Solution B hive scales, I've had the HM20, which was the first one I think they came out with, and then I had the HM5, which was a big upgrade. It allowed me, instead of having to stand next to a hive and read Bluetooth reading for 15 minutes, uh, it allowed me to use the uh, NFC chip in the phones to read the data instantly. The latest hive scales that I've got on there now are the HM6, and they, uh, read, they connect to the Wi-Fi in my house and every night at 10 o'clock they automatically upload the data so that when I sit down at my desk at 5.30 in the morning with a cup of coffee and my breakfast, uh, I can tell what happened yesterday in the beehives without stepping foot out of my house. That is a big plus for me. Uh, it allows me to decide very quickly, is there something I need to go pay attention to or take care of? I think one of the things that beekeeping is starting to migrate towards is making better use of the information that can be gathered through technology. I know it flies in the face of a lot of old beekeepers who, I did it this way, you ought to do it the same way. I believe that technology really helps us do take better care of the bees and Solution Bees Hive Scale have helped me tremendously in doing that. I've got to where I don't lose bees in the wintertime anymore. Uh, because the scales tell me that I need to go out and take some action. Like it tells me they're, they're low on food stores and I put, need to put some emergency food on. Uh, with a combination of the, the thermal camera and the, and the scales, I can almost tell if a, if a hive is queenless, which has happened. Uh, and I can take corrective action. That's something that is new to beekeeping. When it's cold outside to know what you need to do in the way of corrective action because of what technology tells you is a real plus.